Look, Rallo dragged for snitching in federal case. Look, uh, Rallo did his time, bro. He did like six years, solitary and all, bro. Took it like a G. He was still posting shit from in the prison and getting in trouble for it. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't blame a man for getting his mind right. You dig? I don't know if Rallo is snitching, bro. I don't know. All I can tell you is Rallo is buying back the hood, buying back black. You know what I mean? Man said he'll never sell another piece of dope in his life, bro. Never sell a drug again. Didn't know what he was doing. Uh, came with that much time and that they was going to give him kingpin status and all this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He bought a barbershop, a uh, beauty salon, a uh, store, restaurant. Bro, the man is trying to buy the hood back. So I, when you're doing good, they're going to tear you down. They're going to find a reason. Boosie called the man a snitch. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Boosie called the man a snitch, bro. He said, well, I could have showed you the paperwork had you came to me and didn't go straight to the internet with it. You know what I mean? I could have showed you the paperwork. You know what I mean? He ain't tripping on Boosie. He ain't tripping. Why? Because ain't nothing going to happen to him, bro. He got the new Pakistan. He got people behind him. Look, Rollo free, bro. That's the only thing that matters. Rollo said one of the realest things I heard, bro. He said he'd rather him be out and his kids being payless than him be in and them in Javinci. You, you got to understand where the man is coming from, bro. Once you get it and it clicks and you understand what's to understand, it all makes sense, bro. Run that back so you understand what I said, bro, because I know it's going to miss a lot of y'all, bro. Drop it in the comments if you're for Rallo or against him. All this snitching shit. It don't even matter no more. It's starting to not matter, bro. It's all bullshit. They all snitches. You, that's how they get ahead. That's how they stay in the game. They telling on people. They doing all this shit to get them out the way, bro. If you can't see what's going on, something wrong with you, bro. They going to say, oh, you hating. This little John impersonator hate. Bro, stop it with the shit and start listening. That's what's wrong with you. You think you got an opinion when you can't afford to have an opinion. Look, if I couldn't afford to be here, I wouldn't be here. You dig? Let that sink in. Let's start there. Rallo, I don't know if the brother snitching on, snitching on who? That's what we want to know. Ask Rallo to see the paperwork. He will show you the paperwork. I'm personally saying Rallo ain't no snitch. And even if he is, it don't matter because all you niggas are fugazi anyway. You know what I mean? Drop it in the comment if you think all these fucking celebrities and rappers and all this shit is fugazi anyway, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it matter? He's buying back the hood black if he had to do it as a snitch. Hey, all respect, bro. No judgments passed. You know what I mean? No judgments passed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fam going, I don't know if they still going by that. You know what I mean? I'm going to just say Rallo. Rallo, keep doing your thing. He even built the mosque out there, bro. Come on, man. Scars from the playground, bro. Drop it in the comments if you're for or against Rallo, man. Peace. You know, you being locked up, it's a lot of new, you know, life goes on. People die. Um, a lot of crazy shit happens in the real world. What was the craziest news you got while you were locked up? The craziest news I ever got while I was locked up was a nigga called me a rat. I couldn't mm. escape no shit like that. I, I seen you real home. upset about that, too. Man, that shit, like, you go, you go do all your time. You go stand on business. It's easy to tell. Any nigga can go in that motherfucking tail and get right out of jail. Think about you doing six years, hard time, 24 hours a day, sometimes, some months. I stayed in the hole for months, not a week in the hole. You know how it feel to be in a room for four, five months, can't come out that motherfucker? They ain't letting you get commissary. You suffer. You no suffer. No phone calls you either. Suffer. No phone calls. I ain't letting y'all get no phone call. You get one phone call in a month. And then a nigga call you a rat. But I should have drive you the motherfucker right? you stood on business. You could have did that. You could have did that. You know what I mean? So like that was like probably the, the worst shit. I had to really lose my mind to come out of that. You know I mean? I was that one break. of the co-defendants or somebody? Who started that? Uh, a room? nigga that wasn't even on the case. Mm. It be like that. Nigga ain't even got nothing going, nothing to do with nothing. They just be trying to do anything for Instagram, likes yeah. and views. I seen you were upset about it, but when the when Boosie mentioned it, you really went, the you thing went about on that People Boosie. like the brother, I don't, whatever Boosie, I love the brother, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Misguidance is what causes mankind to be ignorant. You see what I mean? He was led into that dictionary. 
if he would have went fed or he would have at least talked to me and said, Rollo, pull up with the paperwork and show me because this nigga saying this about you. This nigga saying this. You could have gave me an opportunity to show you, like, look, John, this is what I'm on. But no. But with people out, generally, if a nigga say something bad about you that ain't true or possibly they want that shit to be true. They wish that upon you. Because if a, if a nigga, if, if, if Goldmar do some lying shit, or any nigga I love, if my bitch do some lying shit, if a nigga tell me a nigga fucking my bitch right now while me and you talking, I'm like, hell no. Nah, that ain't going on. It's got to be something else to this. It's got to be something else to this. I ain't going to let no shit. Can't no nigga tell me nothing about my people without me going to my people and being able to say, hey, what's going on? You smell me? What's going on? Tell me. Show me what's going on. If he would have done that, then we, we wouldn't be here today. If niggas would have did their investigation, their proper investigation, what, what's going on? Let me hit all the whole phone call. Let me hit this. Let me do that. If you do your proper investigation, then you'll get the truth. You smell me? Yeah. Investigate. That's what the fans do. They get their motherfucking truth. They get their facts and they prosecute your ass. Get your facts together and, and, and bring it to the table. Hmm. That's what you do. You don't, you don't go do no lame shit like that to your mans or nobody. No, do that. Don't do lame shit to nobody. Just go up there and ask them, hey, look, what's going on? And then you make a decision yourself on how to go about this. Don't, no nigga ain't finna say nothing about my mans and I'm not finna push up on my man. Hey, John, push up. What the fuck you doing that for? I would have never did that to a nigga. I would have never did that. Have you spoke to him since? I mean, we speak through, you know, I, I represent Wild Fan Lucy. I stay down for him. I talk yeah. to his mom. I, I do what I do right by my people that's in jail because I was in jail. Right. Niggas that's dead and all that type of shit. We have mutual friends. I don't be with that telling a nigga to pick a side because I fuck with this dude. You smell me? Just because he said that or whatever, that don't, that don't deter me from fucking with Lucha Mama and Lucha and shit like that. So, yeah, I, I, I do right by my people. So we will always have common folk. You smell me? But, you know, whenever he read, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not in denial. Like, let's talk. Like, yeah. whenever. I ain't got no pride issue. You know, some of these niggas, they get some money and they just think they too good. Mm. But I'm not that nigga. You smell me? You, you, right now, you can pull up. Right now, nigga can come get me a one. I'm ready. You smell me like I don't be with all that old bitch ass shit. And then I won't tell you like go get no gun because I ain't scared to lose. You mm. smell me? We can fight it out or whatever. Even if we do some lying shit now, we we fight over here and shit. You yeah. smell me? So like, it's just like that with me. If you my brother or supposed to be my brother, you love me or you some kind of real nigga, then, you know, we can have a conversation that we don't like the results to it. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot a one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But niggas quit to go get a gun when they get their ass beat. Mm. If they throw it, I'ma catch it to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap, people tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be about business.